hate this fucking outfit. Never in my life. I'd rather be fucking angry. Clean the fuck up. Let me get it. So if you don't understand anything, please let me know. We have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult with a lawyer before questioning, to have a lawyer present with you during questioning, and if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will finally represent you at public expense before or during any questioning if you wish. And if you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning and remain silent at any time you wish, including during questioning. Do you understand each of these rights? Yes. Realizing that you have these rights, are you not willing to answer questions or make a statement? Yes. Well, a few hours ago, police were dispatched to uh, an address on Stony Brook that um, the parents saw Shad Therian. Mm-hmm. Do you know Shad? And how do you know Shad? He's my ex. He's your ex boyfriend? Yeah. Well, they found a kind of a disturbing stuff at the house there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of blood. Um. Basically, Shad's head. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. And then, so we know you were there at one point. Yeah. With Shad. Yeah. Um, but we also know you left. Yeah. Now that band, is that your band? Yeah, that's my neighbor's. Your neighbor's band? Oh, the guy I was staying at. Okay, so this, where did you go? Which place where did the police get you? Was that on Eastman? Mm-hmm. Okay, correct. Yeah. Is that where you live? Yeah. Okay. That's, I'm staying there right now. Okay, is that your apartment? No. No. Whose apartment is it? That man. And who is that man? Scott Thomas. Scott? Thomas. Okay. So, you need that's his van? Yes. Okay. And so, did you leave from Shad's house and go to Scott's house? Sometime today? Yeah. Okay. Well, they found sh- part of Shad at his house, his mom's house. Found his head. Where's the rest of his body? It's there, inside his house. It is in the house? It's inside his house. Okay. Can you tell me what happened? It's a good question because I blacked out during that time. But um, um I need time to uh think. No problem. Take your time, have some water. Do you think the body is still there? I don't see why not. Unless it's just up and down. But she could have, you know. Where do you think mine be? I was right there by the bed. It's fine, Benny. Yeah, I was cuddling it by the bed. You were what? I was cuddling it by the bed. You were cuddling the body with it by the bed? Oh, okay. Was it just you and Shad down in the basement? Yeah. Was anybody else down there at any point in time? When do you think you went to Shad's house? Shit. I was there like two days ago. Okay. Did you stay there the whole time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um are you starting to remember now what happened with Shad? Well, that what do you remember so far? Um, shit. Oh, I 
Um, well, there's this um, there's this chain, there's this chain thing, right? And then um, yeah, like I was playing around with it. Okay. And like we were we were smoking the bitch, right? Okay. And then um, I'm terrible at explaining things, so uh, <laughs> let's see here. And then here comes the chain, right? And then he put it around his neck while we were like playing around and shit. And then um, I don't know, I was tugging on it, and then I don't know. You say you were smoking a bitch. What was? What would that be? Ice. 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 Um, have you taken any other drugs tonight? No, this is still from two days ago. I don't mind your fucking face. Were you smoking the ice? Yeah. And how? On a pipe or someplace else? The one that's on the counter, or on the table. And I, I left the bag either. You did? I did. Where? Green bag, and there should be right on the But where exactly? The East Men or Stoic? At the left. That's yes. yes. Okay. And you say, where was this place? Where would it be? In the basement or on the first floor or second floor? Basement. In the basement. And it was ice in a, I mean, it was a bath, basically a window bag, a little, little small plastic bag. Crushed up. Crushed up. And, um, and just you and Jack. Yeah. And so there was a chain. <clears throat> You know what kind of chain? It's the one that's on the same place as where the bitch and um, my cat be on. Where would that be again? I think it's on a dresser. On a dresser? Is it, no, oh, is it on a dresser? I don't know. I don't know either. I, don't I haven't know. been there. Maybe. I mean, as best as you can remember. So you think that there could be a chain and the ice on a dresser yeah. down in the basement? It's just weird. I got like a weird flashback from it. So. But what happened? Yeah, it's short. It was real short. But what did you see? It's just um, I don't even know anymore. Like uh, it was uh, it was weird. I was riding him like a donkey. Okay, and then like I I think so. I think that's what was happening. I was like falling and then like, I don't know. Were um. You two being intimate, having sex? It was getting there. It was getting there, okay. So would this be considered foreplay? Yeah. Yeah, it was. And then, um, I don't know. And then, um, I just didn't stop. I don't know why. I didn't stop. I didn't stop. You guys done something like this in the past? Not like that. Do you use manual strangulation during sex at all? The no. shed like that? A um, um, manual strangulation? Yes, 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 yes. He likes strangulation? I don't know. You know what yes, I'm talking about? Yes, he does. Yeah. 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 And you do too or just him? Both of us. So what would you, so when was the last time you guys had sex besides Potentially, sworn. Uh, mainly me, but like we didn't even get it. Like, um, I'm sorry, but we didn't even get it. Okay, so you didn't. All right, but when was the last time you did? I mean, I played with him a little after. But, um, I have no idea, like August. Okay. And what would you guys like to do? Is there a certain role playing that you did with Chad, or was it just some sort of strangulation? How would you guys um, do your have, basically have sex? It's, um, like I just want to, um, you just go, yeah, and we uh, go. Okay. But does, does anybody like strangle the other person? I like doing that a lot. 
All right, so you like being strangled, like having the, your, your airway, or do you like doing it to somebody else? I like doing it to somebody else. Does Shad like to be strangled during sex? I have no idea. I think so. Have you done it before? Yeah, okay. yeah, he does. He likes it. Have you used what we call props in the past? Yes. What? Well, like a dildo. Dad, or rope, or chain, or underwear, or anything? Um, <clears throat> yeah. The, I, I, I shoved a dildo and asked him out. In the past, or just recently? When he was there, when he was on the bed. Yeah. So, obviously, you said you smoked some mice. Do you take any prescription medications? No. Okay. Um, do you have any mental health issues we should be aware of? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. I don't know. Have you been diagnosed with anything officially? Because I know that she has had some issues, mental health issues. That's according to his mother. Since high school? Yeah. Where do you guys go to school together? Big Big Okay. Did you graduate the same class or? Yes. He didn't graduate. He didn't graduate. All right. So then you guys were uh, boyfriend and girlfriend at one point? For how long? Uh, two, one, two, two years. Two years? Two. Two years. Two years? Two years. And is this right after high school or? No, during high school. During high school. Okay. And what year did you graduate? 16. 20, 2016? Yeah. Did okay. so you and Chad um, date after high school? We've seen each other. Okay. We've definitely seen each other. Seen each other? But you were, were you officially a uh, couple, so to speak, or was it just, um, did you still have sex with them? I did it once. Just once? Yeah. Back in high school? Yeah. So when did you start seeing him again? Recently? He's my buddy. He's my homie. So okay. like, you know. Alright, so you've always been friends? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you get over to, to Shats? The minivan. The minivan. Mm -hmm. When do you think he went there? Do you remember? Um, two days ago. Two days ago? Okay. Did you stay there all the time or did you ever pick him up and go someplace or then go come back? Or? Stay there. How did you get in? Did Shed, was Shed there when you got there or Shed let you in? Or did you just walk in on your own? He was there, we went in, we went in, got some shit, we came back and then um, Shit, I mean, that is better than me. No, I mean, and then, yeah, I just, and then we came back. Okay, so you, you showed up at his place. And then you and him left. Yeah. And you went and got some back. Yeah, so then, so then, um, we went, we went, and uh, I picked him up, went and got some ice, mm -hmm. and then after that, we went to uh, back to Scott's. We smoked. Okay. Yeah, and then um, I did it there. I did his hair. You did Shad's hair? Uh, yeah, okay. I did it um, a little bit. At Scott's? Yeah, and then um, okay. and then after that, I uh, trimmed his face, you know. Mm -hmm. Feeling good, we left and went back to his mom. Okay. I was looking for some crack. I never got no crack. You need no crack. Okay. So you went back to, it was just you and Chad to went back to his mom's? Or did Steve come? Steve? Or Scott? Scott, 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 yeah. I'm going to do that occasionally and I apologize if I do get names sometimes. Alright, yeah. Did Scott, Scott did come with you? Scott stayed at home the whole time at Eastman. That's his residence. Okay. Alright, so you and you and Shad he went back to not his involved house. at all. Okay. So you and Shad went back to uh Shad's mom's house. Did it, how'd you get in? 
Did you see, was anybody home? There was not. What time do you think this was? That's the question. Did, was anybody home? Did you encounter anybody? I understand his mom lives Tara? there. Tara? 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 Is that the mom's name? Yes. Damn, I had can't hear, I can't believe I left that alone. Where'd you do the body? The body's there. Yeah. It's um, so. Were we gonna take the head somewhere? I like that. You liked it? I like that. Well, you're gonna have fun trying to look for all the organs, but um, yeah, they're, they're all dismembered. Okay. Yeah. So you dismembered the body too? Yeah. Well, what did you do with the body parts? Oh, they're, um, they're in the house. Somewhere? They're like, um, yeah, yeah. Basement, upstairs, yeah, downstairs? Absolutely in the basement. Out the ground room with them. And then, um, I know I forgot the head. I wanted the head. Did and you bring anything with you? Yeah, it's in the van. What? It's in the van. It's, um, what is it? What is it? I don't know, foot, maybe. So what? I think it's a foot. A foot? A leg? A leg, maybe. I don't know. I just brought, I'm like, I'm going to bring it all. And then I'm like, man, this is messy. So then I just left it. I got lazy. Okay. I got lazy, and that's what I did. So I'm like. Okay. So there's going to be maybe a foot or a leg in the van. And then, um, yeah, what did you do with the head? I forgot that that was in the van, so, uh, yeah. What did you do with the head? The head I put in that bucket, that black bucket. Black bucket? With the blanket on top. Okay. And then where did you leave it? Leave the head? The head's still in the bucket. It's right by the stairs. By the stairs? Yeah. Okay. Um, how did you dismember his body then? With what? Knives, 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 knives. Knives? Just more than one knife? About four. Where'd you get those from? Kitchen. Okay. So I couldn't find mine and I wasn't sharp enough. You weren't sharp? No, no. It was alright. Bread knife works good. Bread knife? A bread knife works good, yeah. Really? I had to use one of these, so like, yeah. I got lazy last night, so. Where, where would these knives be now? They're in, they're in with all the organs and all the body parts. And where was that? In the black bag. It's in the black bag. Of, um, um, in the basement? It's in the basement. They're all in the basement. I never left the basement. I just went up the stairs. They get the... So all the body parts and... Um, knives will be in a back bag. What kind of bag? Five zipper bag next to a pink and black Under Armour backpack. That shaggy. I left it there. Okay. Is it a big bag? Me. What, what kind of stuff would you normally put in this bag? You could put anything in the bag. Well, I mean, is it a trash bag or is it a garment bag? Or Kind of um, no, no, the bag that has the body parts. Oh, yeah, the backpack. It's a backpack? It's a backpack. Okay. Is it a big one? Yeah, the other one's like a little duffel, black duffel. Okay. So, you, at one point, you, did you bring these bags with you? Or were they already there? I was gone, but I got lazy. And right, you're going to bring them with you when you left. But were the bags there when you used them, or did you bring them with you with Shad? Or did you just find them there? They were there, and they, I found them there, and I um, emptied them out and put them in there, and I was going to bring it, and I was like, I got paranoid, and, and, and I got lazy, and I never get paranoid, but this time, this time I was just like, I think it was a dope. I think it was a dope. So, did you want Chad to be dead? No. No, it was out of random. Like, I wasn't expecting that, and it kind of threw me off guard. And it was in an open place and all that. 
You went in the basement, right? Mm-hmm. It's pretty open. That's Why have it done there? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So it out. It was weird. It was really weird. And um, you open the um, the door to the outside. And you go down the stairs, and it's right there. Like you can see everything. Like right as you go down the stairs. So like, yeah. Okay. So, and so, where did you get the chain? Oh, he pulled it out of his pocket. He pulled it out. He had two of them walking me walk around. And can you describe them to me? Chain. Chain link? Chain link and silver. Silver? Okay. And what size? Were they like a dog chain or a large lock like, type of chain? You know what I'm saying? They were like this big. Um, and then, you know, and then it has O-ring. Mm-hmm. Silver chains. Yes. And he had two of them. Yes. What did you guys do with them? We put them around their necks. You did. Okay. And then what were you doing while they were around their necks? I strangled. I was strangling them. You were strangling them? Yeah. Uh, I was having a fall down and then. Um, was their clothes on or off? Oh, uh, he had his shorts on. Yeah. He had his shorts on. How old you? Oh, no, I, mean, I, I didn't really care like that, but, um, Did he ever put the chain around you? Did the chain ever around your neck? I put it around my neck. Do you have any marks or anything? You didn't get the chance to strangle you. Yeah, just see. You didn't get a chance to strangle you? No. Was that he was going to, though? Or was that part of the... I thought that was the thing, and then, like, I don't know, I just wanted to go crazy. Okay. So, when did you realize that Shed was not alive anymore? Um, you know, his face turned purple. Okay. He was coughing off blood, and he was pissed off. I was pissing himself. This case was all purple. I still didn't stop him. I don't know what was going on. I don't know what the fuck I meant. So his blood was coming out of his mouth? I have no feeling his heartbeat. Hearing his heartbeat. I'm sorry? Hearing his heartbeat. Okay. Did you hear it stop? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. So. I'm going to try to do that. Did you figure he was dead then? Yeah. And what did you do? Played with him a little bit. Did you try to call his mom or dad or anybody else in the house? Did you try to call an ambulance? Why not? Because he's half in the door. So, you know. So, do you want him? You didn't want him? You want him? I already did. I'm trying to understand. I don't. I didn't want him to die. Actually, but he did. It. He's in my body, but like it happened. It happened again. But then, did you feel a need to try to help him? Mm-hmm. Stop choking him or get an ambulance? You didn't feel me to do that. I don't know why. I just don't. It happened so fast. So then after you realized he was no longer, he was dead, his face was purple, he said his mouth, blood's going out of his mouth, um, what'd you do? Mm-hmm. Clean him up a little bit. Sure. And then, um, I, I just played with him. Like, yeah, you said play with him. What do you mean? Play with his dick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I put him up over the um the bed, the bed, and then um suck, suck with it. Okay. Then you had him on the bed. What kind of bed? Was it an actual bed or just a mattress or what? So then you had 
Sex with you. Yes. Okay. And I had a dildo. Okay. I played with one too. What'd you do with the dildo? And I just fell on the telephone. What'd you do with the dildo? I put it in his mouth, put it in his ass. Okay. Put it back. Put it back. Where was this back? Where'd you put it back? Once in like a 
few like weeks, not even like that, like months go by and then I'll be gross. I see. And where did you dismember it? It's in the basement, right? Because I was looking for Donna and, you know. You do anything particular with the head or the body? What did you do with the blood? What happened to all the blood? It's, it's still in there, still in the I mean, with the pill. The pill. There's a shower in the basement. You go in the next side over and I just dumped it out after the rain. There's probably still blood there. What did you dump? Know? So you cleaned his head in the shower and then dumped the bucket? I should have cleaned his head in the shower. I should have polished it up, but um, I didn't. Oh. I like that. I like that. And what did you use to smell with that? I thought it had any The knives. The knives. Yeah. What did you Well, you said one of the butter knives. What kind of knives were they then? Big knives or knives? Butcher knives. Yeah, the kitchen knives. Oh, the kitchen block? There was two. Uh-huh. There was two like little knives there, and then um, they were like probably four inches, and then on um, the other ones they were probably like six, six inch knives. And where were they? One the with a steak knife. One with a bread knife. And you say bread knife, knife is that like a serrated edge on it, or is it a flat edge on the bread knife? You know what I mean by serrated? It's serrated. Okay. Um, and where were these knives in the kitchen? They're in uh, um shit. They were right next to the oven. Were they in um like a knife holder thing or in a drawer or where? They were in you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm the, yeah, the some I hold it up. Yeah, that that's the one right there. Like it was in the. Um, by the by the oven. By the oven.
and you told them what happened in their home. You told them what happened to Chad. Yeah, he's got body parts in his hands, so yeah. he's got to get that out. Yeah, we'll be I forgot out. about that. I've been off of it right now. I blame the fucking drugs. Just a man? Yeah. Are you supposed to take any prescription medications? Nope. Okay. All right. I want to look into a couple other things, and we'll be with you, and if you need anything, you're not going to do it. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Good, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. How's it found? It's great, I need stitches. You need some stitches? I need some stitches. Okay. The thing is, honey, I don't know how you need to get there before. Usually, usually you're good, they were saying I think it's stitches, you got 24 hours. Do you think you cut yourself over 24 hours ago? Oh yeah, I just did it like uh, four, hours, four hours ago. You four did it four hours, hours ago? Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, that's actually one of the things that we want to kind of do is we call it timeline, just to kind of get an idea of what you were doing since you first had contact with um, Chad. Um, how did you, did you call him up? Did he call you up? Or did you just show up at his house? Or how did you decide to go over to his place? Hey, I said, hey, come over here. And that, and then he and I went and got him, and I went and got him. And he, he, you called him? Or he called you, or? Yeah. How? Do you have a phone? No, 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 no. It was actually from my friend, my friend AJ, our friend AJ. Oh, okay. yeah. Where were you? At Scott's. Okay, yeah. was AJ there too? Yeah. So you are at Scott's, and your friend AJ was there? What's AJ? You know any other his last name or first name? Big Gannon. He's huh? Gannon. He's Gannon. Gannon. Big Gannon. Yeah. What do you spell that? You know. G A N N O N. Okay. Was Scott know who he is? Yeah. Was Scott there? Uh, he's referenced as Black AJ. Is he a black guy? He's a black guy. Okay. He's got two drugs. Was um Scott there then when you and uh, AJ were? At the apartment on Eastman? Yes. Okay. Um, we walked over there. So you called Shad using AJ's phone? AJ okay. talked to Shad. AJ talked to Shad. Yeah. Okay. And he, he was like, hey man, come on, um, where is Scott? And then Shad was like, I might have gotten a ride, but can you come get me? And then, um, so then, um, so I went. Yeah. So then, uh, then he's like, wait, never mind, I'm gonna write. So then we went and got him. Okay. And then who went out? We did I took him in. Did you I go by yourself or somebody else? I, I grabbed him. I took AJ and um, I put him in the seat. And then, um, so you and AJ went to Shed? To Shed? Yeah. What time do you think this was? So you and AJ were at Scott's yeah. and AJ contacted Shad by text message probably saying come over, something like that. Were you and AJ using drugs at that time? No, we were smoking the yield with Mary Jane. But just, not about just, it. just smoking marijuana? Yeah. Okay. So then you, who went and picked up um, Chad. We, we grabbed, I put AJ in the front seat and then we went over to Chad. Okay. And so how did you get there? Um, via van. Did Scott know you were taking the van? I said, hey Scott, I'm taking the van, I'm picking up Chad. And then okay. he was just like, no! And then I'm like, okay, and I took it. Yeah. Okay. So he didn't want you to take it, but you took it anyway? Yeah, I took it anyway. Okay. And where did you go? To Shad's house. His dad's house? Mom's house? Where? Mom's house. Okay. 
Did you go inside the house at all? Um, I, I knocked on the door and said, hey, should I come in? And then, like, you came here? And then, like, he was like, yeah. All right, so then Shad got into the van, and AJ was in the van, and you, and then where'd you go? And then we went to, um... So me and AJ and Chad, we went to his dad's house, right? Whose house? We went to his dad's house. Chad's dad? Chad's dad, we went from his mom to his dad. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, I don't know. And then, um, from there, we went and picked up some dope. So was anybody at Chad's dad's house? Was Chad's dad there? Yeah, Chad's dad was there. Okay. Did you talk to him or have contact with him? Good old Michael B, yeah. Okay. How long were you think you were at Chad's dad's house? Um, And where'd you go to store um, dope? I don't know. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't even know where it was. Like, I'm just like, put in the attic. And he's like, oh, and, then, and then he went and got it. And then, so who made arrangements to get that? Um, yeah. Maybe Chef. Chef. Chef maybe? Yeah. Right. So, do you remember, was it a business, a house, or a car? Or you met somebody in a car? How, how, what did it happen? No, he was just like, hey, you got any pretty girls inside? I'm like, hell no, I'm gonna knock his ass out. But he says that, right? And, and then, like, for me to go in and get the dope, I'm gonna knock in the dope. I'm like, Shaq will get the dope. So Shaq went and got the dope, and then he came back with the dope. Okay, and where was this, do you think? This was, I don't know, I have no idea. I just. Was it a house or a apartment? Yeah, or? You said put the Addy in, did somebody use their cell phone to find the house address? Could have been. You know, we might have looked it up. I have no idea. Not sure. Eight years, Shad? I have no idea. But Shad is the one that went in to get the dope. How much did he buy? Oh, that was all me. I gave him a hundo. Okay, so you bought a hundred dollars worth of meth? That's what I did. Alright, and it's the three of you still in the van? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, when he got back in. And where'd you guys go? We went back to Scott. Yeah. All right, went back to Scott's. Who's all there then? Scott, AJ, Shad, and me. And what'd you guys do? Um, we smoked. Smoke what? The reefer. Marijuana? We smoked the reefer. I didn't smoke the reefer. No, they, they smoked the reefer. Who had the, who had that, who had the reefer? Someone bring it with them or is that already there? It was, the reefer was there. The reefer was there. And then after that, um, me and Shad, we were talking on the bitch. And then after that, uh, so you and Shad smoked some meth at, at, at uh, Scott's? Yeah, just smoked some meth. Where were you guys located? That would be Eastman. That's right. Scott's. Were you in an apartment? But were you in a bedroom, in a living room, in the kitchen? Living room. Bedroom. Was Scott using any of it? He was chilling on the chair, rocking back and forth. Do you see you guys smoking meth or marijuana? No, that's all behind me. He hmm? can't see. He can't see it, no. Why not? Because that's behind him. Okay. He's facing this way, we're this way. Okay. So then the three of you smoking uh, marijuana and you and Chad smoked uh, meth. And so then what happened then? Who went where? I started cutting Shad's hair. That's right, you said you gave him a haircut. Gave him a little bit of haircut and everything, and then right after that, 
Um, AJ was just like, you don't want to go. So then I'm like, all right, see ya. Did you left on her own? Yeah. Okay. And then he tried it on foot. And me and Shannon, we took out. I shot him up and I took him out. I did. I had one one shot too. And where did you get that stuff from? Uh, That's the same same place. I know, but what hole? So you bought it with the meth, you bought the other stuff too? Where did same you shoot them up with? Same shit. The trazodone? Yeah. I crushed it. I crushed it up. And where did you get the trazodone from? The table. The table, where's the table located? That was where my Scott's song. Was it Scott's trazodone? Yeah, he is. Are you sure it's trazodone? They said it on the bottom. So you, you, so you took some pills from where? You said on a table? On a counter. On a counter? Yep. And it was, it said trazodone on the label? Yep. And it was it Scott's pills? Was Scott's name on there too? Yeah. And you crushed them up and then what did you do with them? I put it in the syringe. I pulled it back and then I, I, I shot them. And you said you took a shot too? Yeah, I did. Okay. Where did you, where did you get the injection? Where did you inject the man? I got from a friend. No, but I mean, when you shot. Where did I shoot them off? Yeah. Shit, probably in the arm. In the arm, you think? Yeah. Uh, there. So you said you got the hypo from a friend? In the end? Yeah. Have you used drugs, they call it intravenously, some needles before? Yeah. All right, so were you guys in the bedroom, in the living room, or someplace else where, um, bedroom, okay. And then what did you guys do? And then, um, um, we just took off, because, um, we just headed over to his mom's house. We got cozy on the bed, we, wait. We drove into the driveway, right? Opened the door, we went down the stairs. We chilled on the bed, and right after we chilled on the bed, he put the collar on. He put the collar on. So you, you and Shad left um, Scott's in Scott's van. Did, did Scott know you were leaving? I said, hey, I'm, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Do you remember what time that was, or was it day? How dark out, light out, um, night? You know what I mean? What, what time of day was it, you think? Oh, uh, that's 12 maybe, I'm just gonna guess. I, don't, I really have no idea. I don't know what time it was. I don't know Was it dark out? Yeah. Okay. So you went to Shad's parents' house, Shad's mom's house. Mm-hmm. Did you meet anybody as you were arriving? No, he didn't. All right, and then he went into the basement. Yep. Open the door and then into the basement, down the stairs, and yeah. then onto the bed where he put on the collar. Was it right away he started doing that? I don't know. This is what I remember. How long do you think you were in the basement? Until I left. Um, I really don't know. It's was it during the day at all? Mm, I really don't know. Was it, did you sleep at all? I mean, I was playing with him all night, so. Okay, so you're playing with him all night? Yeah. What all during the day? I mean, he kind of went into the day. I still was playing with him. Mm-hmm. But, like, are you talking about the choking session? Cause, well. Uh, from the time you got to, sh- to Shad's mom's, how long do you think you were there before you left? Like, 
Until he like died or like No, until you actually left. Until I went left? back to Eastman. Yeah. So by the time you first got there to the time you actually left. I don't know. I don't do times like I really don't do it. Was it overnight? Uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm asking because it was the time when it stopped the boyfriend see. Did the boy? Did the boy? Did you at some point the boyfriend have to let you and Shannon? Into, yeah, into the house. Who the door? Did he unlock the door and open it? And opened it for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so when you guys got there after shooting up the first time and yeah. coming back from Eastman, he did open the door for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So then, from then to the time you left, how long do you think it was? A whole day? An hour? It was, um, shit, I don't even know, like, you know, So you got there, and, and, and she had mom's boyfriend and let you in. Mm -hmm. And you went to the basement. Did you start getting together right away, or did you sleep for a while, or what do you think you remember you did? We went there, five minutes in, I was already choking him. All right, so I have pretty quick. Yeah. And you talk about... So you were playing with him? Um, oh yeah, I was playing with his dick and I was his corpse. Okay. Was it light out at some point? Was the sun off? I mean, when I looked out the little window, I seen it. You could see light? I could see the light. So you were playing with yeah. him when it was light out? Yep. Okay. Alright, so, but particularly with him, you said within five minutes of getting there, you guys started to uh, keep it off the chains, I guess you were saying? Mm -hmm. And you put her on his neck? Yeah. Did you put one around, you never put one around yours? Did you put one I around? did. You yeah. did. It was tiny. I finally got it around and I put it on my neck and I took it off. Okay. After he, um, he was on, but like, uh, yeah. So, he started choking him, and when you were choking him, what, what did he do? What were you guys doing, I guess? Is to try to explain it as best as you can. Um, he was coughing up the blood right and I was just waiting for him to die and then um like I was looking at his purple face. Well, did he During expect to eat, did you expect to have sex with you? Because I felt like it was fucked up and went down already this far, so then I just like yeah. I understand, but why would he put the, the, the chain around his neck? Because he's a kinky mother yeah, he's kinky. So was he expecting to have sex with you then? Kinky so. kinky yeah. sex? I would assume so. But you said that he just um you just started choking. Yeah. How long did it take it for him to die? Like, like um, three to five minutes, maybe. But I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. But. You said that when you were choking, when you started coughing up blood. Oh yeah. But it did. Yeah. And you, you just. So I just like I like to see what happens. So you just get just kept going harder. Okay. So you want to see what happened like when he died? Yeah, I just watched it. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one was different. This one was common. But so when he when he put the chain on his neck, he thought that you guys were going to have kinky sex, right? You think that's what Chad was thinking, maybe? Yeah. What were you thinking? I was gonna do the same thing. You know, I was going in and I did. And I went in. But then he was like choke me, but he didn't really say it, so I'm like, oh. he put it on his neck, I already know I'm gonna choke him and I did. So Alright, so before that did you guys was there any foreplay? We launched onto the bed. We went from the stairs to the bed and okay. then yeah. With we're clothes on and off. Yeah, and I was like Shh. But before you the chain went around his neck, were you and, and Chad like kissing or any foreplay or anything? No, we were chilling at home. You just chilling. So all of a sudden the, the chain went around his neck? Yeah. How oh, come? I'm just trying to, to get it. He likes it. Alright. So I was gonna walk him like a dog. Walk, and he wanted that? I have no idea. What am I gonna do it anyway? <laughs> And you're claiming it was his idea? Was it Jim? Hmm? No, it was his idea. It was all him. 
Right, so you're on the bed, the chain goes around his neck and you start choking him. And you just realize that he was going to die or what? I'm just like, shit. I think I went a little too far because, like, like I, I was blacking out while I was doing it, right? And then I thought, and then, like, I look at him, I'm like, shit, he's already purple. I'm like, fuck, I'm, at, I'm like, I don't know if he's fucking. Is he good? Is he good? But then, like, when I woke up, like, you know, I, during the black, I'm like, shit. Like, he was coughing up blood. I'm like, I don't know. I just kept on going. Like, You made the comment, you said that when you were choking, you were coughing up blood, you were kind of were like, well, I'm going this far, I'm just going to keep going. Did you realize that by continuing that, that pain kill him? Oh, well, yeah, because I felt bad that he's like, because I'm like, damn, there's going to be a reason after this, I'm like, might as well just kill him. Okay. So yeah. you realized that by continuing that you may, you may actually kill him. Right? He was, I swear to God, he was telling me, he's just like, just So I'm like, oh, and I did it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I swear I don't fuck. I, I, I'm like, I accidentally fucked up and then I fucked. Like, oh my god. And then, yeah, that's exactly what happened. All those and you, you, you also said that you enjoyed it, right? And I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah. What'd you enjoy about that? I'm just. Was it kind of thrilling, a rush, exciting? Mm-hmm. What was the feeling just, that you got out of it? That's all. That's all it is. Um, okay. I, I'm just trying to understand what you feel when you're saying that. Yeah, it's like sure. just what it was. You know, did it make you happy? Was it just kind of exciting? Like opening Christmas presents? Like, or? I don't know. It's, like this is the this is the thing that I have. Like I've always had. You know, like you ever love something so much that you feel it. Like, it happens to me. That's the feeling that I have. I love something so much that I kill it. Like, oh, I love it so much, and then I kill it. That's what happens to me. So, um... Alright, so he's he dies. He's dead. And then he just kept playing with his body. Okay. And, um... When did you decide to... Uh, how long did you play with his body? Is that when he thought it was booked outside and it might have been light out too? I don't know, it was still dark. Still dark? Yeah. Oh, it's gotta be like... Um, two, three hours? Two, three hours? Okay. Mm, is that also when you um, used the uh, dildo? Yeah. Did you have sex with his body at all? Any point or any type of sexual contact? You know, obviously the dildo and stuff, put but... The dick in his ass. Hmm? I grinded it on him, I put the dick in his ass. I, I you grinded it on? Yeah, I listened to it. Did you ever put his penis in your vagina? Yeah. Or maybe you just grind on him? Did you see before that you performed a girl on him? Okay, and that's after he was dead. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, and then he got happy. He was like half hard while I was still sucking, while I was dead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And was that part of playing with him, or? That is part of playing with him. Okay. That was part of playing with him. Did you? Uh, Actually, yeah. I, was, I was just, I was yeah. severing his head while I was doing that too with him. You were so you know, so when he so saw it, it was it only a couple hours before he he severed his head. Yeah. Were you did you fall asleep at any point in time or? Yeah. So how long do you think you were in that basement? Because you didn't leave until like three or four this morning, right? But what about during the day? What do you do during the day? Um, probably, I don't know, like, I was, I was kind of like dozing off, like, like you know, nodding out. 
he, he was dead already? Was his head still on? No, I took that on. That was the first thing I took off. Okay. I wanted the head. What about the rest of his body? I didn't even take it. And then, um, the rest of his body, it's, um, my God, it's fucking, um, I don't even know what it is. It's in a big blue container, you know? Is it a big container? It's like a big Tupperware, it's not a Tupperware, but it's a Tupperware. Tupperware container, like a A big storage container. Yeah, one of those. And then, um, so that's where body parts are in? Or are they, I thought just they were in a black bag. They are. They're, they're scattered around. Oh, so both probably. But when did you start, you know, cutting up his body? I don't know. Like, almost right away. I was sucking and cutting at the same time. Okay. Then what about the rest of his body parts? Did that take all day? Did you? I was getting pissed off at the dismemberment process, actually. Did it take a while? Did it took a while? Yeah, because, like, I was nodding out. I was nodding out, so Okay, so you're kind of sleeping, kind of nodding in and out. Okay. Have you taken any other drugs? I should have. I should have took drugs. I, I probably would have helped, but I didn't. And I just sat there. Yeah. Do you remember um, it being daylight at all? When yeah, you're... when I looked at the window and I seen the daylight. And, and was his body together still then? His body was not together. It's just like, oh. I had fun with him for that two hours and then boom. So, but it um, took a while to cut the rest of the body up? Yeah. Okay. It's all messed up too. So, I'm just trying to ask why I understand too. So you said you were cutting him and you cut him not off. Can I wake up and start cutting him? Yeah. So, it took you a little while to cut the body apart. There were times where went on that or whatever it wasn't he didn't work non-stop to dismember his body right I mean I probably did well in my sleep I do things in my sleep you do things in your sleep but yeah but like that's probably it right there did anybody ever come down the stairs at all Tara Tara came down she came down the stairs and then um with the kitty cat and then she set the kitty cat down and you know with the kitty cat and then the kitty cat was walking around and I threw the kitty cat, you know. And then, um, yeah. Did you talk to her? I'm like, hey, Tara. I don't know, it was just weird. Because, like, it was an open space, you know, like, there was no closed door. And, like, it was weird. Did she, did she saw anything? So she, you think she came down at one point and dropped the kitty cat off downstairs the basement? Yeah. Right. How long was she in the basement? Just shortly to drop the cat? Or? Yeah, she just came down there, dropped the cat off, to so use the kitty litter, okay. the box, and then she went right back upstairs. Yeah. And then, um. Alright, so then throughout this process, you would cut off a body part with one of the knives, and you would put it in the bag or the tote or something like that. Yeah, I was still tweaking out, so I was like, oh, I'm going to get it, and I was like, wow, it's getting dull. So I grabbed another one, and then I was cutting it, and it was getting dull. And, I'm, and I, was, I was tweaking, so like, I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah, no. I didn't mean for all this to happen, and I'm like, I fucked up, I know I fucked up, and I'm like, shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what happened. No, you know, it's... Even he's got a mom and a sister and a dad and family and yeah. more and more of being sorry, you know. You killed him. You gotta tell the sister sorry. Didn't mean for that to happen. You didn't mean to kill him? 
Did you remove all organs, like intestines and everything, or yeah. where are the intestines? Do you remember? Um, they're going to be in a plastic bag. They're all in plastic bags. So, so that blue tub is always just all blood. Mm-hmm. Is what you? I thought you were saying. Um, it should be like only like this much. All right. Okay, we're just trying to clarify a couple of things. I'm just trying to make sense of something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right. Can we talk a few minutes again? Yeah. So, um,. Out at the house right now, there's, you know what a medical examiner is? They're the ones that kind of like take care of uh, people that die and see how they die. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, they have a bunch of questions for us that we really can't answer. And the biggest questions that they have is exactly how did you um, dismember shed? Um, nice. Did you, but did you, you know, cut arms or I mean, or was it just internal organs or? So you started on the head, right? Yeah, and then I don't know where I went from there. I just wanted to. If, did you cut it? Where, did you remove his arms? Yeah. Okay, can you show me where you would cut on the arms? Right there. Right at the elbows? Did you, was this part of the arm left on? Mm, you got it going that little bit. Okay, and look. Yeah. But you know that you cut, you cut off at the elbows? Okay, you got both arms off at the elbows? I hope so. Because, like, I was saying that dismemberment, <laughs> dismemberment process I did was, like, really messed up because, like, I was nodding out. Okay. And then I was, I was like, sawing it off. Did you like did did use just the knife? Just the knife, so, like, yeah. Did you remove any part of Did you dismember his legs at all? What would you have done the legs? I think there's one leg that's actually intact. Okay. And then, um, maybe, maybe. Where is it? I have no idea. And where have, was his body located when you did this dismembering? Was it in one spot? Yeah, or? it was all in the same spot. And where's that again? Blue tub. So the body's in the blue tub as you were cutting it up? Yeah. Okay, then did you empty the tub at points or you know what I mean? Was there a bed down there or just a mattress or there was a mattress that was laid down there. Should be blood on the shoes. Like a lot of blood. But um I tried to get it off. But um I can't fucking think right now, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I'm fucking nuts. Yeah, you know, because, like I said, just, yeah, you know, they'll probably figure it out eventually, but um, they just have some questions about um, like where blood might have went or most of it went. I mean, you said a that bucket right. or, the, yeah, that was yeah. drain or that. But it was, when you took off his head, was he lying on a mattress? Or was he someplace else? I had his head hanging off. The and mattress? Then, and then I was lying on but was a bucket underneath his head? Yeah. So it was high enough? I don't know, it just dropped in there. What's that? It just dropped in there after I got the bone. But it was high enough that it could stand up underneath the body, you know what I mean? So let's say the body is the bed, the bucket was able to fit underneath there. Was that the bed was high enough for a bucket to fit there? Or would it have to be on its side or something to bucket? No, um, what was just fine where it's at? On the edge of the bed. On the floor or on the bed itself? On the floor. Okay. So there's a box screen and then there's a mattress. Okay. Okay. You know, um You know, what do you think should happen if somebody does something like this to somebody else? I don't know. They obviously get prison time. I don't know. A whole lot. Like, I don't know. This was 
out of random. Think it was the right thing to do? No, I did it anyway. Yeah, and I just want to clarify when he had the chain around his neck, were you behind him? Yeah. And kind of with just one end or two ends or the chain or in um just one but you hold it out of you know I mean um because if you wrap a chain around someone's head you just hold one end of the chain, the other end is gonna go loose. No, so if you seen there's a ring and there's two rings and then like you can pull the chain link oh, from okay. under the ring and then pull it back. Alright, so that a loop at the end of the chain that could go around Kind of like a dog choke collar? Yeah, exactly. Okay, do you think it was a dog choke collar? Good event. Very much so. Was it that size? It was that size. Okay. Very large dog. All right. And so then you would have been, was he laying on the bed? Or kneeling? Or something else? He would, he would have been um, on his stomach. Something like that? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? The yeah. Okay. And there were two of those, correct? You said there was one for the one for those on him. Yours was yeah. smaller? Yeah. Does this guy look familiar to you at all? <laughs> Mr. Gannon? That AJ? Yeah. Oh. That's the one. So he was lying face down on the bed? Or was he just on his hand and knees? He or? was lying face down on the bed. Okay, and you're on top of him. On his back? Yeah, I was on his back. Okay. All right. Pulling the chain back. Okay. All right. Um, hopefully that helped them heal. Did you guys find all the parts here? So, yeah, they're going still through the process of looking. So. Did you remove any other? You need to you had the heart and the liver up with the lungs. Did you remove all that from the chest cavity? Or did you leave them in there? It, it could be in there, yeah. Do you remember? Or? They're all in plastic bags. Separate bags or one big bag? They're all in separate bags and Walmart bags. Oh. Um, they're fine. All right. They're fine. Well, I'm sure Okay. Are you doing, doing all right? Do you need anything or hungry or anything? Or? I want anything. What? I just want anything. Well, you're right. I mean, you know, you need any food or you got water, obviously. So if you need anything or you need a restroom, knock on the door and then um, you realize you, you know, you're probably going to chill after this one. We're done, so. I didn't know that. I'm just, you know, telling them how the, what it is and all that screw around with anybody, so. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. You've been forthcoming with us, so we're going to be forthcoming with you. Thank you. Maybe we appreciate it. I mean, like Dave said, if somebody kills somebody and dismembers them, do you imagine that that person probably should go to jail? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this shit was fucked up, so I'll, like, I don't even know, like, I'm like, god damn. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we yeah. to see where we're coming from and what we got to do and get nothing personal. Yeah. Sucks. Alright. You need something to sit on for? Thank you. Detective Graf, the uh, video that we all just watched, is that video um, accurate and consistent with what you recall from your in-person meeting with Taylor Shibusiness Business on February 23rd of 2022? Yes. I just want to address one thing. At the beginning of the video, she's wearing a yellow outfit. Toward the end, she's wearing a blue outfit. Can you explain that for the jury? When she went to the uh, hospital to have her um, thumb checked, the hospital changed her into uh, the blue scrubs. And then um, 
you indicated there was also the recorded interview from the 28th. Um, I intend to play uh, a much shorter portion of the interview from the 28th. You know, so you took the wound from your, is, is that why you, um, your chest head kind of kept mentioning that you liked it? I was kind of taken and I just left it there. I was staring at it, I was looking at it, where I was in my back, where I was also going to go up the street, and I was like, I left it there. Like, yeah. I was going to come back, I was going to come back, and I left it there, and I, um, and I was full. Yeah. But you were gonna, you were gonna eventually take all the parts you think, did you? Yeah, I really don't Did something spook you? Oh, I put my hair in like footsteps up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs. Do you remember wiping up the concrete floor by the bed? Do you remember wiping up that? No, the floor on speech, um, right there. Okay. And, that, and then you put those in the bags from that. What do you do with those blocks? I think, I think, yeah, I don't know. Okay, would you use those to wipe up the blood? Yes. Did you move that? Yes, I did. To cover that up? Yes. Okay. And do you remember um, thinking like the, the, you know how the stand up showers and then finish part of the basement? Because that shower? Yes. Do you clean that area too? Like with water or whatever. And that speed. So you use the speed. That's right. There was speed. Mm -hmm. And it's still part of that. See what you saw. Yeah. Okay. What were you feeling? Were you anxious, angry, excited? Well, when I woke up and I seen that this happened and there was like uh, the environment around me and I was like, it feels like I'm on a hidden camera TV show right now. And I was like, well, but yeah, I, I was going to be crazy. So um, I was really pissed off and freaking out a little bit. Are you so? Yeah. Yeah, very much so. One, the victim was like my, my friend, right? Yeah. And um, two, it's, um, it was an open, open area. Same. Very open area. I didn't like that one bit. The dismemberment process was awful. Yeah. Can you go into a little bit more on that? Can I ask you a you jump into that? Sure. Did you, you clean it up so that you were just up? Well, yeah, to the best of my ability. I almost like I called, I called on myself like four times because I'm like, there's no fucking way. There's people upstairs. Sure. There's people upstairs. I'm like, well, how am I going to get away with this at all? Is that one of your thoughts when you're yeah. talking them up? Yeah, I was just like, there's no way I'm going to get away with this. And I'm fucking screwed. And that's part of the reason you put them in different bags or cleaning up. Is that correct? I was cleaning up. But then, like, when I said I was tripping out and the body was kind of rebuilding itself because I already cut off his arm and his arm came back on. I'm looking at this, I'm like, there's, there's no way. There's no way, you know? And then, um, and I'm like, am I that high? Would you cut it off again? Yeah. So? It took forever. Oh. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, because one of his arms had a good cut it. He never cut off. Yeah. That's weird, because I cut it all the way off. And then, that, that's, I'm just saying that. Like, yeah. Is it easy, easy to move now? Because... Was a bigger guy than you? Yeah. yeah. Because um, I'm looking at this, I'm like, how do I get Shad out of here? Can't just leave Shad here and be like, hey, mom, Shad's dead. So, yeah. 